When Eccleser was diagnosed with cancer last year, the news devastated her, and she says her entire universe fell into free fall. For once, she thought it was over. The news, I did not take it very well. It was like I wanted to commit suicide on that day. I wanted to commit suicide, and um, the journey from there on was like a, a battle that I could not fight it. It was what I went through in life, like you've heard. What I went through in life, cancer broke everything in me. Her cancer progressed and is now at stage four. This means cancer has spread to other parts of the body from where it started. The 37-year-old is coping, but at minimal, partly because she has no family support, she says. This cancer that I'm having, it's called anal cancer. And um, this cancer is um, a cancer that uh, uh, is, is very discomforting. So I would say half of my family is like a distance from me. It's only one family member that would support me through this journey. With no improvement in her health, Egelsa has for now been taken off from treatment by her doctor. But she is not about to give up and hopes to become a cancer survivor as she clings on to the words of encouragement of her late mother. I will get to cancer. I will get through it. Wilbert Ekanjo is a registered nurse at the oncology ward. Patients remain under his care for about six months. He says building a bond with patients is one of the recipes to recovery. So it's really a difficult situation because uh, one has to, to be really strong, you know, because this uh, cancer condition, a patient can be fine today, fine tomorrow you find the patient is very sick. So when you come on duty the next day, patient is, uh, is no more or the patient is uh, very, very critical ill. Uh, it, it's really, it will really hunt you down. On this day, social workers and medical staff at the Winduk Central Hospital's oncology ward observed the Cancer Survivor Day. In her message, Health Deputy Minister Esther Munyangwe also noted the devastating effects that comes with cancer diagnosis. It creates fear, panic and depression, not only to the patient, but to everyone close to that person, especially family members. Therefore, there is a need, she says, for more social workers to assist patients and families to cope with the disease emotionally. Awareness around the Cancer Survivor Day aims to mobilize resources and research that will enable stakeholders to improve the quality of life for survivors. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.